This is Jeremy at 1LD, and this is a tutorial on uh, how to use web icons within a Rapid Weaver theme. First, you can go to forum.1LDesign.com, navigate to our tutorial section. Um, site's loading a little slow, and you'll na and then from there you can navigate to Rapid Weaver Tricks, or you can simply do a search, adding and using web icons, and it will show up in our search engine. I'm just going to open it up and these steps have links that you'll need to download some of the files. The first files you're going to need to download are found here on the Font Awesome website. You can simply download them. I've already downloaded them so I don't need to do that again. Um, and just have them on hand. We're going to change some of those files in just a second. Uh, opening up the files I've removed the um, I've removed the H uh, the LESS folder um, the only file we're going to need to edit is right here, the fontawesome.css. I'm going to open this with uh, my, te my favorite text e editor, Aptana, though you can edit it with any other one you wish. Um, originally, the code actually had dot dot slash in front of all these. You're going to want to go through and actually remove all of that dot dot slash slash font so that it only has the name of the file but it doesn't actually go anywhere. And we're going to save that. Then I'm going to go back to Rapid Weaver. Um, I don't like having a lot of resources go all the way down the screen, so I'm going to hit this plus button. I'm going to add a folder, and I'm going to name it Font. I'm now going to, um, first I'll drag in all the font files into the folder Font. Second, I am going to drag in um, the minified version of the of the IE7 fallback and the non-minified version of awesome.css as I might make some edits at a later point. <coughs> now I'm going to create a page very quickly. I'll just create a stacks page real fast and throw in a uh, basic text file. And I'll, on this page, I'm going to go page info, header, and stay in header. And I'm going to insert this following code right here, which calls in the style sheets that are going to make the font work, which are located over here. I've already included the code here to say, to tell it, go to the resource folder and then to the font folder right here. Sorry about that. Let's open that back up. So it's going to locate the font awesome um, CSS file and also the IE7 fallback in case the user is running Internet Explorer 7. Next, I'm going to take the HTML tag here. I chose the I tag because it's not used very it's not used very much anymore. It's sort of archaic. It's been replaced by the EM, but it still works. So we're going to post that in there. I gave it the class icon-microphone icon because on here we can see it right there, icon-microphone. You can look at any of these icons and then choose the respective class next to it to, uh, to have that icon called into Rapid Weaver. I'm also going to highlight it and hit command period, which protects from Rapid Weaver's built-in auto formatting, which can sometimes change these quotation marks into curly quotation marks, which uh, mess with the mess with uh, the HTML and actually will make it not work. Let's see. Go back to the tutorial. Finally, I'm going to add some CSS that makes it a bit makes the icon a bit larger than the default. And I can just go header header or header and then CSS. Insert that. It's going to make the color a blue color with a, with a little bit of a text shadow a larger font size and a nice hover color. And now I'm done. I'm going to save it. I'm also going to exit or quit out of Rapid Weaver and restart it. And I'm going to go into preview mode. And there's our icon uh, pulled in, working uh, with our CSS styling it. And that concludes this tutorial.